Hi, this video is for educational purposes, for the purposes of your edification, enlightenment, illumination and instruction for your daily growing in the Word of God and in the knowledge of God in the, and in the perfection of God and the perfection of the Holy Scripture and the Bible. The Bible is perfect from the beginning to the end. The Bible does not make any errors or mistakes. The Bible does not contain any errors or mistakes. That's what the Bible states and that's what uh, many, as a matter of fact, the majority of the Christians and Christian scholars and theologians and defenders and proponents hold and believe and impose. And I tend to agree with them and today I intend to provide you with further sound proof and evidence of the biblical infallibility and the biblical inerrancy and that one verse from the Bible confirms another verse and um, before I um, furnish you with the proof and the evidence of the purified scripture because Proverbs says that the scripture has been purified seven times before printing and before uh, being made available to the, the, the general public. Um, biblical infallibility is what the Bible says regarding matters of faith and Christian practice. And it, it is wholly useful and true, wholly, entirely, thoroughly, from beginning to the end. It's the firm belief that the Bible is completely trustworthy as a guide to salvation and the life of, life of faith. And um, the Bible possesses biblical integrity. And this biblical integrity strengthens the concept of infallibility, suggesting that the current Judeo-Christian biblical text is complete and without error whatsoever, that is, inerrant. The integrity of biblical texts, according to Christian proponents, theologians, commentators, etc., includes its present-day state, message, purpose, and contact, that it has never been corrupted or degraded. In other words, there is absolutely no error or omission whatsoever. Even its present-day state, that is, message, purpose, and content, its content has never been corrupted or degraded. Because, states another Christian site, and uh, the Christian proponents and theologians, the Holy Spirit has exercised personally oversight over the people that wrote the biblical text. So, my example would be from the books of Samuel and Chronicles, with the question, when David defeated the king of Zobah, how many horsemen did he capture? Again, when David defeated the king of Zobah, how many horsemen did he capture? And in support of my statement that the Bible is inerrant and infallible and does not contradict itself in any way, and that it's very precise and clear and not confusing, I will f furnish you Two examples. Second Samuel 8 4, it clearly states that it was 700 horsemen. Again, Second Samuel 8 4, I'm reading from the King James Version, which is considered to be the most perfect translation. 
and most reliable translate Bible, Bible translation in English language. King James Version. 700 horsemen, 2 Samuel 8, 4, which is confirmed by 1 Chronicles 18, 4, where it states that it's 7,000 horsemen. Again, 1 Chronicles 18, 4, 7,000 horsemen. 7,000 minus 700 equals a difference of 6,300. Again, 7,000 minus 700 makes a difference of 6,300. And I will read from the King James Version. 2 Samuel 8, 4, and David took from him a thousand chariots and 700 horsemen. And then 1 Chronicles 18, 4, and David took from him a thousand chariots and 7,000 horsemen, 7,000 horsemen. And I will quote from 1 Corinthians 14, 33, for God is not the author of confusion. And I would add or assume that God is not the author of any errors or mistakes. So as you can see clearly, I agree with the, these Christian scholars, theologians, commentators, proponents that the Bible is absolutely, completely inforable, inerrant from beginning till the end. It does not contain any error or mistake whatsoever. It does not contain any confusion whatsoever. As you can see here, and it's proven by math, that 7,000 equals 700. There's absolutely no, it could not be and cannot be any confusion here or any mistake. It is confirmed by math, by mathematician, mathematicians and by phys uh, physicists that indeed 7,000 equals 700. 700 and 7,000 is the same number. And I agree with that. And... Um, Give me pleasure to have been able to provide with proof and evidence that the Bible is absolutely and completely trustworthy, seven times purified, as the Proverbs say, and does not contain any errors, mistakes, or confusions whatsoever. Thank you very much for watching and listening, and I will appreciate your comments and expressing your opinion in the section below. Until the next time, bye.